Hey, what up? This your boy, Chef Boudreau, man. I'm back in the boot. Hey, man, today I'm going to be bringing y'all a meatloaf, mashed potatoes with some blanched green beans with a little bacon and a little onion in there, man. I don't know if y'all remember this kitchen, but uh, I'm going to go ahead on and just... I'm going to go ahead on and just bring them all back up in here, man. That's my mama. Man, come on, mama. Come on back up in here. They've been looking for you. They've been asking where you've been and all that kind of stuff. So that she is. My 90-year-old mama. I just made 50. We get me in. All right, mama. What are we making today? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. All right. So we got some ground beef right here. We got some onions. We got bell pepper. We got garlic, fresh chopped garlic. And we got some green beans that I cut both sides off. We're just going to blanch those. We're going to hit them with a little bacon fat, bacon, and onion. We're going to get it all up in there. We're going to use this seasoning and no wing measure. So now we're going to start with a little Martin seasoning. So we're going to use that other stuff. Here, Mama, you want to do it? i tell you what. We're going to go ahead and put a little garlic powder up in there. You know, that about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon of onion powder if it could come out okay. There we go. Got to shake it up a little bit. All right. Now we got a little black pepper. About a half a tablespoon up in there. I know I'm doing a lot of shakes, but don't worry about it. And we're going to do a little Tony characters. Uh, our people like to call it satchels. Creole seed. So now we're going to crack a little egg up in there. Boom. I'm going to let Sophia do the honors on this. Whoa, whoa. Get the shell out now. Come on now. You're making, making a mess, Chef Boudreau. My mama made me nervous. <laughs> we got a little bread crumb up in here. We're going to throw up in there. And this is not seasoned bread crumbs. It's just regular bread crumbs that my mother made out of some French bread. That should be enough, Sophie. That should be enough. All right, baby. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw a little, uh, just a little, little bit of little marrow up in there. Little, 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 uh, little carrots, little onion. That's enough onion, mom. A little more. A little more. All right, all right. A lot of more. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. The bell pepper. The bell pepper. You ain't saying nothing, Mama. Little bell pepper. <laughs> That's enough. All right. All right. So we're going to take a little bit of this garlic, fresh chopped garlic, put it in there. Is that enough, Sophie? Yeah, that's enough. That's enough? All right. That ain't enough. All right. That's enough. All right. Let's get it. All right. So while my mother is mixing that up, I got this bacon that I'm going to render for the green beans. We already got the mashed potatoes on. I took the liberty of putting just some salt. I know y'all didn't see me do that. Put a little salt and some extra pepper and stuff like that. So I got the meat already. And I'm gonna pour it, put it in here. You don't have to spray your pan. You know why you have to spray your pan? Because it's gonna render its own fat. Now everybody make their meatloaf different. Some of my people in Louisiana make theirs with brown gravy. I'm gonna do a ketchup base with a little Worcester shyster and some stuff like that, okay? I'll just pay attention to what I'm doing. Because I'm about to put this in the oven and let it cook. It's already form, form, form. Yeah, y'all know what I mean. I'm going to put this over the top. If y'all don't have this, go buy it because my mom always gets stuff like this. And it can be cooked at both sides, under and over. All right. It's going at convection at 350. And we'll figure out the time. Maybe about 40, 45 minutes. I already rendered off my bacon. I got my potatoes done already. All we about to do is make this sauce real quick. Now I'm going to make a tomato base type sauce. Mama, you got the worst of shyster? Yes. Where the worst of shyster at, Mama? <laughs> Ooh, that sound. <laughs> All right, so we got the garlic powder in there, about a half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of garlic. We got some uh, a uh, quarter teaspoon of 
pepper. Move that over to the side. I got some salt right here. I know it's I know it says Mark seasoning, but you know my mama she don't throw nothing away. So we are gonna use a little bit of that by the corner of that. And I got some lid pairs. Worst the shyster, shit's the shit. All right. I'm gonna put that on there. But y'all lucky I ain't got no liquid smoke, cause if I had some liquid smoke, boy, oh, it'd give us some of that. I know my mama got some, that's why she going walk and go get it. <laughs> got people in the background laughing like it's a sitcom. <laughs> but it's all right though, baby, it's all love. I'm in the city. When I'm home, I do what I do. I'm gonna put all this together. It's going to taste good. Go ahead on, Mama. Which one we got? We, we got, oh, 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 wait a minute. We're going to use the apple. Pecan is a little strong, so we're going to just use a tad bit, a, a quarter of a teaspoon. There you go. Now, all this stuff could be done according to your taste buds. I know it looked like a barbecue sauce, but it's not. It's ketchup base. Make it want all them shakes. Look, I got these potatoes. Look, I got them. I got them melting the butter. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about. To, man, come see what I'm. I got this garlic. This fresh garlic over here. With a little bit of this good old oil up in there. I'm gonna saute that just a little bit. Just a little bit, and then we're gonna throw that over into the mashed potatoes. This water right here, I got this about to come to a boil to blanch the green beans to keep the color with a little salt. Well, a lot of salt. Maybe about two tablespoons because you want the salt to help keep the green color of the green beans. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take them and put them right in this skillet right here. And we're going to saute that with the onions and this good old crispy bacon that I got, boy. I got the potatoes. We got the garlic already in there. I'm just gonna mash them. Uh, Mom, can you hand me the half and half? Yes. I got the I got a stick of butter in here. This is like eight, eight million, eight. What is it? Eight, uh, eight regular, medium, medium size. size. Medium size. So I'm gonna add just maybe about a quarter cup. Of heavy cream. Now we got the water boiling for the green beans. It's almost, I, mean, I need to turn this in. So when we get ready, green beans almost done. This is cooking. We probably got about maybe 30 more minutes on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the mashed potatoes. We're going to set them to the side, but yet keep them warm. We're going to do the green beans, set them on the side. Keep them warm, and then we're gonna uncover this meatloaf, and then we're gonna put this sauce on top and let it cook until it sticks to the meat. Looking Gotta let it stick to the meat. I just finished the mashed potatoes, but I left a little lumps in them so people know that's real mashed potatoes. But all I did was add just because I add the salt to the water. So when your potatoes come out, add your stick of butter, white pepper, not black salt maybe a little but taste your food first so now i got this sitting on the side it's still hot let's see what these uh green beans about to do i got the fire hot already look i'm about to get these onions up in this pot here and skillet i'm gonna let that render down a little bit i'm letting this render down in some bacon fat baby all right we're gonna flip this over a little bit guess what I'm gonna let this cook just a tad bit, and then I'm gonna throw this bacon, these bacon pieces, back up in there. Yeah, hey, it's about to go diesel off of this piece. Put my water boiling. I got my salt boiling. I got the bacon right here. Onions almost sautéed to where I want them, cause I still want a little crunch on them. I don't want to just cook them to where they just clear and translucent. I want to leave a little color and see. There we go. We ready. Now look, we're going to dump these up in here. We're going to keep the color in. we got to keep the color in the green bean. Okay? 
So now, we're going to turn this down a little bit. Then we're gonna throw the bacon back up in there. And let that sit right there. Alright? We're only gonna do about maybe a minute on this. Now it's all high. We're gonna shake this up. And then we're gonna throw that in there. Throw some salt and pepper on it. And we good. I should just strain this, but I'm eating it. And some of that water don't. Ain't gonna hurt none. Then I'm gonna pull that over here. Now I'm gonna put this over here. Don't worry about that and green beans over there. I get it. So now we're gonna let this cook on high. I mean, just a little salt. Just a little. Salt. And some black pepper. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm about to open this up. This is where we at. Actually, I tipped this just a second ago, so we right at about 155, 59 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and base this on. Then I'm going to let it go until we get to an eternal temperature. It don't, because it's beef, it don't have to be at 165, but I'm going to let it go for about five seven more minutes in here and then we're gonna be done son and it's gonna be the meatloaf and the only reason why i look dark is because i put the worcestershire sauce but this is my recipe you make your recipe how you want i ain't mad at nobody that does there we go so i'm gonna push this back in here let it go for about another seven just so it can stick and then we're gonna put all of these components together you know what i'm just gonna with just a little bit of parsley on there. I let this meat rest before I slice into it because you don't want to let all the juice from the inside of your meat get out. Okay? Oh, look at that. Boy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come and get a close up of that. Boy, look at that color on the green beans mm -hmm. with that good bacon and, and, and onion. Here you go, Sophia. Go on the cat. But I need to eat first. Whatever you feel like, it's your house. I don't want to live here. You want to, you want to, you want to. Mm. 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 I love the carrots in it. Right. A little bit of that green bean up in there. A little one. A little one. Get a little bacon on there though. So what we doing up in here? That's wonderful. Give me another piece. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's your boy Chef Boudreau, man. I'm down in the booth again with my mom's. We kicking it. I love you, baby. It's your boy Chef Boudreau. You already know what it is. You already know how I get down. Let them know, Mama. All good, all good. <laughs>